Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms still watching some large plasma filaments erecting from the surface of the sun. As well, you can see that they are now doing it in antipode. Looking here at last 48 hours, incoming imagery, large plasma filament on the right, and as well, a small flare on the left. Looking at outgoing imagery here, fiery region departing us, and as well, an earth-facing sunspot forming along the equatorial region. There's that small flare that shot off from the bottom left of our sun. Produced a B-class flare. And then looking at this large plasma filament, yet another solar plasma tornado spinning opposite side of the sun now. I think we need to be ready for a big shift in the sun's dynamics. Looking here at multi-spectrum, looking at all the events, fiery bright regions, and as well as sunspot formed, equatorial, bright right in front of us there and as well b-class solar flare coronal hole to talk about as well nothing major earth facing right now but there is a large one developing ahead of those plasma tornadoes that we were observing yesterday and today plasma tornadoes and then we've got large coronal hole developing in front of that and as well this fiery sunspot who came to life earth facing just recently so looking at lasco two and three you can see on the left hand side there of the sun small blast that was shot away not earth facing looking at a real-time solar wind we are pretty low at 377 kilometers per second starting to go down from an elevated 450 kilometers. Solar X-ray flux is in the B flare range right now. Just recently, as I showed in the last image, looking here at ISWA space weather prediction spiral, you can see that blast shot away right at the whole conglomerate of satellites and Mercury and Jupiter, or sorry, Venus. Looking at a power of 11 today for our Schumann resonance. Quality of 7.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Largest earthquake today, 6.9 in Vanuatu. But we're still watching lots of activity here. South Sandwich Islands. I just want to give you a show here. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes across the planet. We are buzzing right now looking at 270 across USGS map across the world and looking at many earthquakes still through South Sandwich Islands. We've seen about a dozen just today as well. We're seeing lots of fours and fives moving through South America into Central America. After that large 7.2 in Haiti, again, prayers to Haiti some really sad and scary stories coming out of there. I would love to be a part of the rebuild in the future. I'm going to be developing a do crew rebuild and we're going to rebuild the world one home at a time, traveling to all places that have been affected by natural disasters. Let's carry on with earthquakes here. Minor earthquakes through the Caribbean today as well. Notable earthquake there in North Carolina. Largest earthquake this week through California. Octillo Wells, a 4.0 and as well a 3.8 reported there. So a small swarm is starting there. And that is just west of the Salton Sea. And let's have a look at USGS showing all minor earthquakes as well. So you can see here there's about a dozen earthquakes since the five, uh, 4.0 that initially came out. It was followed by a 3.8. And we're also just going to observe across the USGS right now. Anything else notable 
We did have a few minor quakes through Mammoth, Wyoming, Yellowstone, and as well minor quakes moving westward into Montana. And Idaho, minor earthquake, as well a notable earthquake here in the Cascadia Basin, 3.1 Oceanside, Oregon. Heads up, Juan de Puka Plate. Hawaii reporting a 4.1 earthquake today, Pahala. As well, minor earthquakes going through Alaska this today and yesterday, 4.5, the largest 4.5 there in Kursk, Russia. 80 kilometer depth and as well a large earthquake here Japan 5.3 40 kilometer depth and that's right by those two submarine volcanoes if you haven't seen the volcano video yet check it out please pretty quiet through the Philippines 4.3 there China and as well 4.9 India pretty deep earthquake here in Germ Afghanistan 200 kilometer depth 4.3 and as well Italy seeing what is that? Maltia, Malita, Italy, a 4.2 earthquake, and as well Croatia, 4.6 there from the 16th. But still, it's a bit concerning there in the subduction zone through the South Sandwich Islands. It continues to rumble there. And our largest earthquake today is the 6.9 Vanuatu at an 89 kilometer depth. Deepest earthquake is the 200 kilometer depth earthquake. In Afghanistan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. I have a quick look here at the last seven days, and it's been very busy as we are embarking on the Jupiter retrograde. So, heads up, August 20th, there is an earthquake watch in place. And I'm not the only one warning. That's just a quick look at the last seven days across the world. couple notable places there to watch having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center to show you the most recent volcanoes getting updated Shevelich in Russia Kermiski in Russia Reventador in Ecuador as well Sabankaya in Peru Ibu in Indonesia, Suis and Ajima in Japan, many fires here, 191 active alerts, Fuego in Guatemala, as well Sharinkatan in Russia, Semisnopochnoi, United States, Luatolo, Marapi in Indonesia. Epico in Russia, Popo in Mexico. And so that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated just in, in the past 10 hours. Also notable today, tsunami watches went out with the 6.9, also a 7.1. It was also reported as a 7.1 earthquake, uh, Vanuatu. So tsunami watches were put out, Vanuatu, Hawaii, and Alaska coastline. Also observing three tropical storms we've got hurricane linda as well tropical storm grace and as well tropical storm henry now henry is going to take an interesting track now it's already been doing a couple laps in the atlantic stay tuned for the forecast coming right up and uh, we also do have an area of interest still there tropical storm number 16 was named but disappeared and i do believe will f reform again in the long range forecast. But yeah, interesting track there. Widespread tornado watches here through Pennsylvania and as well Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, as the weather moves in. Tropical storm Fred came through over the past two days. Have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, we've got a pretty Seasonal but cool week ahead of us in the long-range forecast. We could see, watch this, minus 5 
in some areas of the foothills. And I was looking at the foothills this morning, and yeah, we got 48 hours of rain, but the foothills almost also got 48 hours of snow. It was cold. So big low developing here. It's going to bring it widespread extreme weather through the United States, northeastern United States, moving into Manitoba and Ontario this week. Big system. And as well, a big one developing here through Alberta. So long-range forecast, cool conditions. But ahead of that, watch for a heat wave through Ontario and Quebec. Ahead of that, pretty much a tropical system that heads into the Hudson Bay. Very strange days indeed. Widespread rain through southeastern United States. Overlooking the Atlantic here, you can see Tropical Storm Fred does another lap and then starts heading towards the Atlantic provinces and northeastern United States. Also looking over Europe, low pressure system still hanging out over northern parts, getting ready to move out by Tuesday, but to bring some really cool temperatures behind that. And as well, a pretty strong system here moving through the United Kingdom across into England and eastward. Widespread showers here, Southeast Asia and as well India. You've got a low pressure system here coming through the week. Watch that to roll right across the country. That could be a cyclone in the long-range forecast heading towards Yemen. As well, lots of rain heading towards China yet again in this five-day forecast. No relief in sight. Pretty strong systems and rain. Heavy rains through both Korea's and Japan. Looks like this high-pressure ridge is finally going to get smashed by those intense lows whipping through the Pacific. Daily evaporation rains heavy later on in the week through Papua New Guinea. Pretty much dry, widespread scattered showers through southern parts of Australia, but later in the week, watch for a big system to affect parts of southeastern Australia and as well to bring snow to higher elevations. Overlooking New Zealand, high pressure ridge stretched out over northern parts of the island, but mostly rain, coastal regions, west side. Overlooking Hawaii, you've got Tropical Storm Linda, who most likely will be a downgraded tropical system by the time it gets to you, but it is on its way to you. We also have Grace, who is going to be heading across the Mexico mountains through the Gulf, forecasted here to head straight across and into the Pacific. So all of a sudden, an Atlantic storm has become a Pacific storm. Grace. Wow. Overlooking South America, you've got some intense temperatures moving in this week. And as well, you've got a big bad boy of a system here moving towards Chile and Argentina. And this is on the 20th, everybody. This is going to be our earthquake region on the 20th, I do believe. We've got a very intense, deep, lower-level trough system heading into those mountains. As well, observing a pretty intense system there just south of South America through the South Sandwich Islands, continuing still, overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, and then watch for heavy rains to move through Nigeria this week, and that could be a tropical system in the long-range forecast for the Atlantic. Stay tuned to the Daily Dew. I try to give you daily updates on world weather, space weather, and earthquakes. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, showing you all of the major systems spinning around our hemispheres, pointing out the major ones. Much love to you all, and thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me where you're watching from. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.